Millipede. Yeah. Toilet tour. Oh. Anyone for a floor-based tomato? Um. Hello and welcome amazing railway enthusiasts. Today we are in Cooma, New South Wales during the 75 year Land Rover anniversary thingy bob and so the Land Rovers everywhere but today we're looking at the Cooma Munro Railway Museum. There is actually a model display as well which we will have a look at. Here is the opening hours. You come in and you buy the ticket where you would have bought a ticket once upon a time. We have history. Incredible history. Dairy. Snowy Junction signal box sign. Electric staff exchanger. Um. Chair review. All these years later. Is it still holding up? Is it still relevant? Oh yeah, that's good. We're now on the platform. The former Kuma Railway Station. General waiting room. Incredible. Kuma Railway Museum map. Are you guys gonna join? If not, I don't know if I wanna see you on this video anymore. Platform. Chairs. Station Master's Office. There you go. As you can see, we have the office here. <coughs> this is the office of the Station Master. For railways. Check out the safe. It's incredible. Yeah. That is very antiquated. A network map for New South Wales. I don't really know much about the New South Wales railway network. The Great Zig Zag Lithgow. Signal trouble outwards and then something else. Swarm in here. Swarm in here. We've got a pretend fireplace. They used a piece of rail at the front of the fireplace. What are you doing? I've got goosebumps. We have some type of display thing. Coaching and goods instruction. General appendix. Southern and local appendix. State Rail Authority of New South Wales Passenger, Fares and Coaching Rates Handbook. Kuma. I like this old luggage trolley. SM Bathurst. Very ancient. <gasps> Serpents. We have a dock platform here. And I guess it sort of becomes an island platform, sort of-ish. This is a closed down train line. Have a look at these signals, they say S on them. Check out this ginormous snow plowing truck. Diesel equipment. Check out these contraptions. These contraptions were once used for filling the trains with diesel. Oh, is that a standard gauge railway line? Trains! I like how thin the windows are here on the station. Here we have some information about the uh, Kuma Munro Railway thingy bob here. I don't know if you can read it, I'll just get a close up. I guess it's just their grand plans for what they want to do and that sort of thing. So it is interesting to say the least. Stuff they're going to be building, and here is a map. Like oh, this door here, little sort of half door. This trolley says D Harbour. I wonder if that means Darling Harbour. Well, this drink tap is like ancient. That bin is absolutely incredible. Ladies room. We won't go in there, but we also have a little staff kitchen. Here are some interesting facts on the station building. Gentlemen. All right, gentlemen tour. Pretty decent. What a pans. Spray zone. Turn it. Signal box and out of shed. The small building to the right is known as an out of shed because various items were stored there until they were required. Although its history is uncertain, it could originally have been a small waiting shed recycled from another platform as recycling of buildings was a common practice on the railways. It has been used for a variety of purposes, including a lamp room where kerosene lamps used for lighting signals at night were stored. Lesson learned. What I find interesting is the whole thing is clad in wood and the floor has bits of wood on it and that looks like rubber. So just everything is designed in here to not cause a spark. I wonder if those are made of copper. I'm gathering that's the wagon before they restored it. We like railways. I like the little ball thing in me, Bobby, here. The railway to Kuma. <laughs> Check out this rail bus, that is amazing. <laughs> Love this little signally thing. This track just ends in a tree and then goes into a ditch. You better make sure you stop on time. And then over here we have a turntable. Here we have an alternate view of the turntable. Barracks. 
The barracks were constructed in 1941 to replace the original barracks, which were located on the other side of the turntable near the locomotive shed. I also want to note how tall these clotheslines are. Look, I can like barely reach them. I think we have a little laundry building here. Please subscribe and like the video. Oh no, he said it, not me. It's, it's not cringe. This seems to be some type of aggregate storage area. I wonder if we can get in this laundry. Yes, we can. We actually have lights. I wonder if they work. Yes, they do. Fatal toilet remnants. Look at this original cement cistern. I wonder if the lights still work even though... Yep, <laughs> the lights still work even though there's no toilet. Love it. We have the remains of where a copper would have been. You basically just boiled your clothes in a big cauldron. And this is where you would have lit the fire underneath. In there. The ashes would have come out there. Still got the laundry sink in here made of concrete and yeah obviously they're just storing like various bits of machinery in here spooky disused laundry building Ooh. okay coming out the train tracks down there here's sort of the back side of the barracks i find it interesting most of the windows and doors are all barred up i guess maybe people would be able to sneak around back here without being seen by the station staff We have display cases filled with various Land Rover vehicles. Chad. Um, um, yeah. Look at this absolute Chad. There's a truck carrying Land Rovers. Look at this Alpha. Um, lots of vehicles. This 6x6 Land Rover would tow this testing hill thingamabob to test Land Rovers. Hey! Alright, we've just got heaps of models. We don't have all day, but we do have the ability to at least gloss past. This is absolutely incredible. You name it, we've got it. You name it, we've got it. Very interesting. Toilet tour. Ceramic urinal right here. This is incredible. Check out these cubicles. The ones in Canberra railway station are any better, Nick. I keep the ones in Canberra better. Yeah. Come mm. Canberra instead. Okay, check that out. Millipede, millipede man. Anyone for a floor based tomato? Um, we need to leave soon. Can you hurry up, nine. <sighs> I'm getting let's go, noob. Here we have a signal box. Yard diagram thingy bob and that lever frame. Dairy. Have a look everyone at these labels. Which just makes it very quite interesting. So I'm out here, it's nice and sunny. Does anyone know what the heck those things are? Breadbow automatic working for up trains always. State Rail Authority emergency working. Do not remove without authority. Here we have a pair of train control phones. We have some documents. Staff box. Camera, what is this thing? So to ensure that only one train is on the tracks at any one time, they had like a staff. So they, when the train comes along, you give the staff to the driver of the train or the guard or whatever and they take it up the line and give it to the next station and then when the train comes back they collect the stuff and bring it back to this station so that was the safe working system used we are making our way back to the museum the museum is actually in the old refreshment room here is a model of a southern aurora carriage here is an alternate angle of the model here it's kind of poopy with my reflection but get a bit of an idea Railway enthusiasts, I'm just gonna get tilt shots of all of these displays because I'm starting to run out of time to film the video. So if you wanna pause, have a read, do so. So just have a geese. That's all I can do at this point. I can't ramble on and on and on and on. Express passenger train XBT. Look, when it was still red all those years ago. XBT! New South Wales Railways travel for pleasure. New South Wales Railways, the decline. Last Canberra 
in Monra, I can't read it, Express from Kuma, Saturday 26th of the 11th, 1988. That was the last ever normal passenger train. Skiing sort of culture. Trinkets, that sort of thing. Kosciuszko, New South Wales, Australia. Kosciuszko Snow Express, complete with a foot warmer. I feel safe at this place. This place has got luggage and I've got baggage. We've all got our issues. And here is a tilt of someone that could probably use a foot warmer. <laughs> Check out these drips. Massive drip. People love the railway. Alf Grammon, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Here he is. Display here showing some documents. Love that old logo on there. Some keys, I'm assuming to open the doors of the trains and stuff like that. Various little trinkets. Ramp. Timetable for the train line. It's fascinating. I love that kind of stuff. I like this old My Train ticket. It really reminds me of the old paper tickets Melbourne used to have when I was growing up. I like this little The Gan toiletries bag. I love that Australian national soap too. Time tables, time tables. Hey! All right, in here we have railway refreshment room so i'm gathering these are some of the items you would have found in a railway refreshment room tea and coffee making appliances will james you need to make this cup for your merch store okay you've been called out um more documentation refreshments on board that was the era of railways i would love to see now you just have people over in the corner just don't look at them in the eye railway refreshment rooms traveling can be thirsty and hungry work Tickets! Ticket dating press. Used in stations across the state, the ticket dating press would imprint the purchase date on the ticket when it was sold, this validating it for use. Every station that sold tickets would need at least one press to validate tickets. Oh, just found five cents, yes! Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry, it was kind of a rushed video. I, I'm on limited time here today but i hope you enjoyed looking around the kuma railway station museum thingy bob if you enjoy railways and australian history i would thoroughly recommend subscribing to this youtube channel and press like because it helps the algorithm and um believe in yourself that's basically it all right thanks everyone bye anyway uh as always a huge thanks to amra melbourne for letting me film at the club rooms and of course i will see you at the exhibition i'll be there both days and the open day this month and the open day later in the year Anyway, um, that's enough of me talking and rambling and all that kind of thing. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who watches these videos and I will see you all again really, really soon. Hooroo!